Hey guys, what's going on? I'm at Magic Mountain again today. We're gonna see how much we can do in one day here at this park. And I'm here today with Luke, who is a ride operator at SeaWorld San Diego. And it's it's your first time being in one of my vlogs, so welcome to Coaster Dash. <laughs> the weather's really nice so far. It's pretty chilly, and that's something I'm not really used to here in LA, so it's gonna be cool. I can't wait to just get some rerides on some of my favorites. Of course, I haven't been on Tatsu and Viper since 2019, so those are two I'm especially looking forward to. And of course, um, Superman's going forwards now, and I haven't done that ever. So that sounds really cool and unique. So yeah, it's gonna be a great day and it's a Monday. So hopefully the crowds are late too. Let's see how much we can do in one day. We are inside Magic Mountain and the first ride we're gonna hit is Tatsu. As you can see right here at the pretzel. Cannot wait. It's been since 2019 since I've ridden this thing. Just got off of Tatsu. It's been so long since I've ridden that, since 2019, as I said. And it was awesome. The pretzel loop was like even better than I remember. It's so intense. It just presses you with positives. Luke, what do you think of Tatsu? Do you like it? I love it. Amazing. That's one of the best coasters here for sure. Also the best B&M flyer that I've ridden without question. I'm sure um, the B&M flyers in Asia might have something to say about it, but in terms of the US and just North America in general, that's, that's the king of flyers for sure. We're gonna head on over to West Coast Racers next. The rides that usually get lines, I think we wanna hit pretty early on. This is only running one train. We're gonna do West Coast Racers, so that's probably a smart idea. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Just got off of West Coast Racers, new for 20, 2019 or 2020? I honestly, can we settle the debate, Luke? What do you think? I think it's a 2020 coaster. I think so too, honestly, at this point. But um, regardless, it was a pretty fun ride. I, we rode in the front row, just like how my first ride was. I genuinely like that ride a lot. Uh, I think it's good. I just kind of feel like it could have gone to another Six Flags Park more than this one. But nonetheless, it's a very fun, enjoyable coaster. And speaking of fun, enjoyable coasters, we're doing Apocalypse next, which is what I think to be the uh, most underrated GCI in America. I always love this ride. It's just so intense. The theming is great. It's an awesome coaster. I cannot wait to give it another go. Apocalypse was so much fun. I love that ride. It's aggressive as heck, man. Apocalypse is actually like hella underrated. No, like that ride is so intense. What do you think of Apocalypse, dude? I love Apocalypse. It's yeah. super fun. I mean, it's just aggressive, fast paced till the end. I love that thing. What are we doing next? Thriller's Revenge. Thriller's Revenge? Yeah, let's do it. B&M stand up. Best B&M stand up in the world. That's a fact. I've been on all of them. Let's go head on to the uh, loudest B&M in the world and also the best B&M stand up in the world. Check out Magic Mountain's 20th coaster construction. I cannot believe we're getting an RMC Raptor here. That's gonna be fantastic. Anyways, onwards to Brother's Revenge. Riddler's Revenge is actually ridiculously intense. Uh, I agree it out. Like, 
a lot of times. Yeah, that is um, that's a lot to handle. You know, if you're not if you're prone to like forcefulness intensity, you should not ride this coaster. But I personally love it. It's just like really aggressive. You know, easily best beat on stand up. I know I've said it numerous times in this vlog already, but that is like actually amazing. Next up is actually not a coaster. We're gonna do Crazy Xanity. This is their um, giant Discovery Pendulum ride. The last time I rode this was 2019, I think. So I'm looking forward to getting on it again. I have been on numerous clones since then, but um, yeah, it's a great flat ride and I, I'm looking forward to doing it. And it's also his first time, so he's really excited about it. Yeah, it should be fun. Crazy Xanity right here was absolutely fantastic. That thing is so much fun, isn't it? Airtime is all over the place. On the max swings, you literally come flying. It feels like you're upside down. It's so fun. We're gonna hit Batman next. I can't wait to do Batman again. Um, it's honestly the best Batman clone other than maybe the Georgia one, but they're pretty much on par. It's just ridiculously intense and uh, I look forward to giving it another go. Batman was so awesome. Worth the wait? You haven't yep. been on it in years, huh? So that was that was even better than I thought it was. Oh my god. To be honest, I've been contemplating because I said over George's Batman was the best one, but honestly, the more I ride this particular Batman clone, the more I'm like, wait, that's like actually possibly better. That is just noticeably more intense than some of the others. I don't know if it's because it offers year round or what it is, but that thing is absolutely insane. It blazes through its layout. Next up is um, another DC themed coaster. We're doing Superman Escape from Krypton, but the interesting thing here is that they flipped one of the trains around. So now it's actually running forwards and then falling down the spike backwards. I'm, I've never done it like this before. So I'm looking forward to trying it out seeing if it's better or just the unique experience is really what it's all about. So let's go give it a ride. I'm not sure what to expect, but I think it'll be pretty fun. Loudest coaster noise ever, ready? Listen to this. It is time for Superman Escape from Krypton. Forwards up 400 feet of this tower. Yes, it's actually hitting red, even forwards. I'm so hyped. That was like a huge surprise. Superman forwards in the front row. That literally gave the dragster launch like effect. That was insane. Oh my God. I would actually take forwards over backwards. That was awesome. Like you actually feel your cheeks flapping and everything. That was like a huge surprise. What? If you haven't ridden this thing forward yet, come out to the park and do it. Um, you will not regret it. Make sure you're in the front row. That thing is insane. Oh my God. It's time for some RMC goodness. Let's get it. So what can we say about Twisted Colossus? It's actually like really, 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 really good. The airtime is always so freaking strong on that ride. We didn't duel either time because they're running two trains, but it's a Monday, that's understandable. Anyways, we're gonna do Scream next. Um, underrated ride in my opinion, I've mentioned that in multiple vlogs before, but I think Scream is actually kind of a gem at this park. It really gets overshadowed by a lot of the other rides here, but it is really intense. and It's not as rough as people make it out to be whatsoever. And so it should be a fun time. Just 
road scream and that was really fun i've i've always thought that this was genuinely an enjoyable underrated ride it doesn't deserve the hate it gets it is a filler coaster for this park if it were in any other park it would actually be like a pretty signature attraction but here it's kind of forgotten by and i think that's the biggest reason as to why it doesn't get a lot of love in terms of the roughness thing i don't really get that i i mean it's a little shaky but like other bnms are the same way it's honestly nothing that scream in particular is bad with it's a really intense ride that'll say like <laughs> you gray out on this thing honestly <laughs> we're heading on to full throttle now most likely which i'm really excited about but yeah i haven't ridden full throttle in a while i think actually you know what i haven't ridden that since 2019 come to think of it i don't know why i forgot that but yeah it's been a while since i've been on throttle and i love that ride so i can't wait to do it you guys see this toilets are a walk-on So we just did full throttle. It's been a long time since I've done the front row on that ride. I mean, it's been a long time since I've done any row on that ride, but um, especially front. So I wanted to do very front and it was great. Even on the drop, by the way, you get airtime in the front. I don't know why people say there's no airtime on that drop. I mean, in the back, it's so much better, but even in the front, you get airtime. So I don't get it. But just the rest of the ride, the sense of speed is awesome. The launches are great. I love that ride. It's super fun. The hang time's great on the loop. Just a good time overall. It's not gonna blow your mind, but it's a really fun coaster. I'd even say it's like top five in the park still, even with all the new coaster editions over the years. It's really good. Anyways, it's time. X2, baby. Wait, hold up. Are we gonna stand by the side or uh, I think we're gonna stand by the side, honestly. F this shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 We just got a back row ride on X2. That is insane, isn't it? It's so good. And it was actually running like pretty smooth today. Yeah, that was incredible. I just think that ride is so psychotic. I can't believe that even exists. I can't believe there hasn't been on an accident on this ride this year, knowing 2021. I don't know, man. Uh, I love that thing though. We're gonna do it a couple more times, but the next ride you'll be seeing is Viper. We're literally knocking out all the coasters. Like we might get every credit done essentially in this park. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, Viper is so good. I forgot how great that ride is. It's actually one of my favorite coasters in the park. Like for an aero coaster, that thing is smooth. And it's also so intense. The pacing is phenomenal, at least in the first half. It's such a good coaster. I've really enjoyed that. Again, like I haven't ridden that since 2019 and I forgot just how that thing was running. And it's actually like even smoother than I remember. I love that thing. He needs the kitty credits. I'm gonna do um, Goliath. Uh, he doesn't really like Goliath. I don't either, but I still wanna try it again and give it another chance. I just think the ride's kind of boring, but hey, let's see if it redeems itself possibly. Back 
Yeah, Goliath was exactly how I remember. It's a smooth, graceful ride. You know, some people might really like it. I think the double helix is definitely intense. The one hill that this ride does have designed for airtime is okay, but literally the entire rest of the coaster is really not great at all. Also, the mid-course brake run stopped us to a halt. I don't know, that's a new thing that's happening apparently, but it's literally stopping the train completely 100%. It's so bad. I don't really know if I'm gonna continue hating on it. It's just gonna be here from now on, and I'm, I don't really plan on riding it very much ever again. <laughs> All right, I guess that's gonna do it today from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Today has been absolutely incredible. The crowds have been super low and the weather's been amazing. It's been kind of chilly, which is really nice because it's usually really hot up here, as I've been saying. We're gonna end things out with one more ride on Twisted and then we'll be heading out. What'd you think of the day? Great? It was a lot of fun. Good to get on some of like my favorite rides here, so. Yeah, today's definitely been one of my better visits to Magic Mountain I've ever had, honestly. Just the fact that we did so much today, got to hang out with a lot of enthusiasts. There's actually quite a few enthusiasts back here there's Ernesto. Yeah, okay. There they come. But yeah, it's been a great time. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. See you very soon.